Hi, so I want to show you how I also make the wreaths for our house by using the magnolia and the um, cedar that we cut today. So I buy just these little wreaths like this and I fluff them out a little bit. Let me turn this down so you can see. So I just, you know, get them all fluffed out as much as I can. Um, I store these every you know, after Christmas. All right, so what I really like to do is back here on the back, I've made myself a little hook, okay, with some wire, okay? So this is gonna be the top of my wreath. And so I'm gonna lay it down. And what I'm gonna do, instead of putting a bow on my wreath, I'm gonna actually use my magnolia leaf as a wreath. And what you do is, can you see me? You just take these little parts of the wreath and you just wire it in, okay? You just twist it in, okay? Like that. And then I've got myself set up to where I've got my cedar that we've already cut. And so I'm just gonna take this cedar I'm going to look at some of them a little bit and I want to put this in and my whole goal is to just make this wreath look like it's just a natural wreath and of course you can make all this naturally and wire everything but to me it's just more simple if you use these artificial wreaths to just give you a base, all right? So you're still gonna see the artificial through it, but it's gonna look great because you've got all of the natural coming through, all right? So let me get some more here. I'll just poke it in and then just find two of the wire parts one from one side and one from the other, and you just twist it, okay? I'm gonna find another one. All right, kind of poke it in under, underneath. Twist it, twist it like this, okay? So there's one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you for the wreath that I'm going to put on our door. It's the same kind of wreath, okay? But these things right here I bought at Hobby Lobby because I felt like they were natural. I love the pine cones on them. And I've already wired this one in, okay? I've already wired this side. So I'm just going to wire this side kind of assume that, so this is gonna be the bottom part of my wreath right here, and then I did put another wire up here at the top. Okay, so that's gonna be my little hook. All right, so then I'm just gonna lay this in, and again, find the artificial pieces, one on either side of the wreath, and then you just twist it, okay? Find one on one side, one on the other side, and twist it, okay? All right, so I want that to look kind of natural, and this little piece right here that's part of that artificial part, I'm gonna take this, bend this underneath. Okay. We live near a little tiny airport. And here, I see a little pilot practicing out there today. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some magnolia right here in the middle because instead of a real bow, I just want to pretend that the magnolia leaf would be the bow. 
All right. Find myself a piece. Now what I'm going to do at the top is I'm going to put in all of the natural cedar again. And this is just a look that I like. I have over the years done different things. I love bell, uh, not bells, I love the ornaments. Well, I do love the bells too. But just recently, I don't know, I just really liked more of the natural look. So I've done ornaments, red ornaments, green ornaments, all the different things. But right now I just like this. Of course you can add anything you want to it. Okay. All right. You see how that looks? And once I get, it, I get it on my door, I'll probably fluff it around a little bit more and maybe add a few more things to it, okay? All right. So I'm gonna work on one more wreath and then I am going to put them on my house. I'll hang them on my house. I'll show you how that works. So I'll be back. Okay, everyone. I have finished up all of the garland around the door and I've also hung my wreath up and I saw some little spotty spots when I did that and so I just kind of added a little bit more cedar. I also did the same to the garland. I just thickened it up a little bit. I added a little bit more and um, we'll have Daryl just kind of zoom in on this and give you a little bit more of a look so you can see. I love using the greenery, just the greenery on the wreath, but I don't know. I might add a red bow. We'll see. But then come on down here, and these are just the wreaths on these two windows. Um, again, once I hung them up, I added a little bit more of the cedar to it. Put the little magnolia here. And I got to thinking about magnolia, and I know that some of you are going to be seeing this, and um, you're not from the South. And in the south, we have these amazing, magnificent magnolia trees. Um, and so magnolias are just a big thing in the south. So if you don't have magnolia, you can choose other things. But if you find cedar, you can just do cedar. All right, so this is how I hang it. I just really just use a command strip. So these have been up here actually for a couple of years. And they hold really well. All right. Let me put this back up. Also, the good thing about cedar and magnolia, like it will stay looking great until well after Christmas. Like you don't have to worry about it at all. So that's why I really like to use it is it lasts a long time. So I hope today's video has been really helpful and maybe you've learned something and you can just uh, steal a lot, all my ideas. I love to share them. So I am wishing you a very Merry Christmas, and if you like this video, please like it and share it with your friends, and um, as always, remember that you can do hard things.